Hello and welcome to Game of the Week where we'll be talking about grassroots football and some teams including River Juniors, Mainliners, Santos who are all in the running for the league this year and Corey Green who look to be a side of the under underdogs. We've got a lot in store for you. Today I'm joined by Sonny, Will and Ryan. In grassroots football this is all about the children having fun and playing with the mates out and out on the pitch and everyone having good fun and playing along together. It's also some exercise for everyone and um, just to take your mind off things and it's really good. So moving on to the stats. The stats of the week for me Maryport winning six two against Birkendale. Ned and doing well in their game and Sonny's team River winning 3 0. The best player in those games for me was Josh Ash from Maricourt, Sonny from River and Ryan from Neverton. That was a good game. I was just thought that um, Charlie would have been good. Charlie's own. He looked like good with the crosses and <coughs> running down the wing. Yeah, but I thought um, Josh did really well in that game. Okay. And then it was a good game, but I think um, Josh was a standout player. So, uh, for one of the um, player of the weeks, I reckon in the running is Anthony Turney, Josh Ash, Sonny, and Harry. I reckon for me, it's it's got to be Sonny. I would completely disagree with you there. I would not go for Sonny because based on these stats, Harry has the better share of everything. He has more more percentage of when he's retaining the ball. He has better keeping the ball stats and his passing has been amazing. So I'd go for Harry instead of Sonny. So yeah, um, have you got any stats on Sonny though? Sonny's stats were only 50% retention of the ball. To be fair though, 70% of his shots went in in that game. He had seven and four of them went in. And then Sonny also had good passing stats, but not quite as good as Harry's. Um, I think I'm maybe getting pushed towards Sonny now instead of Harry. So uh, I'm going to go with Sonny for our player of the week. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. What about Harry, it man? It has to be Harry after all those stats. It has to be Harry after all those stats. He's just a better player. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Harry now. So Harry as our player of the week. Player of the week. Player of the week! Do you think Ryan? Player of the week? What is he player of the week? <laughs> 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 so Sonny, play or play Harry, who's player of the week? Harry, player of the week. Is that because... What do you think about that, Sonny? Um, I disagree with that. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Sonny, why should you be player of the week? Because... Harry... saw him play before with Ryan. And... And all I could see him do... Is seventy percent of running, fifty percent of shooting, and eighty percent of passing. Sounds like good stats to me. I I would agree as well. They're pretty good stats. Pretty good stats. I'd still go for Harry over you with those stats. Um, I I'd probably say Sonny still. What do you think? Yeah. Is that because he's sitting next to Sonny? <laughs> yeah, it might be because you sat next to him. <laughs> no, it's, it's just, I've, I've saw him play and he doesn't get recognised for how good he is. He, he's a brilliant player and I just think he, he's, I think he's better than Harry. But I think Harry had just one of those games, you know, where everyone was clicking for him and he had just, um, just had an amazing game for me. So I'd go for him still. Deciding vote. Who are you going for? Harry or Sonny? Mm -hmm. Don't look at him. 
You don't want to pin it. How do you? And, and Sony was, and scored like some, and like passings and scored a great free kick. And well, obviously, um, he like scored like a tap in. Yeah. From him. Um, Actually, six yard after somewhere. And Palmer was running in trouble and skills. Who did you think was good in your team? So I think um, William done well in centre mid, passing the ball. And then um, I thought Callum done well with his passing. I'd have to disagree. I'd probably not go for Callum. I'd probably go for um, Anthony Turney up front. I thought he was a real key player for Maribor. Saying that, I, I just thought with his wonderful passes and crosses into the box led to most of Josh's goals and with obviously his three goals that made the difference for the win through our team. Yeah, so do I. So, what are we agreeing on? Are we, I'm going to go like, for... What about for Anthony? Anthony. Who are you going to go for? William. Harry. Harry. So, mixed opinions. We've got mixed opinions here. We've got Anthony, Harry, and Will. So, I think we're going to have to maybe have a look at some more stats to see more about the players and see if we can really find who is our player of the week. First, we have Anthony. He was 50, he won 50% for of his headers. I kept the ball 9 out of 10 times, it was very good from him. Then Harry, who made some great assists, got 2 in that game and bagged the ball for himself. And then we have Frankie, who was very good down the left wing. So it was a close one, but Annie had to win that for me by an edge. Okay, well, do you agree with that now you've heard from stats? I don't agree with that. Who do, you, who do you think should win that now? After I think Annie. Um, Done a little, done twenty percent of his running out of a hundred on the pitch, thirty percent on his heading, and then we move on to Harry, and then I think he done well running up the pitch and back, and then um, passing, and then um, fifty percent passing and twenty percent shooting, and then we move on to Frankie. But you're hundred percent running, hundred percent shooting, and hundred percent passing. Mm. Um, I agree with Sonny. We're in um, Frankie one hundred percent in running down the pitch. We may have done a hundred percent in running, but I don't think his passing was very good to be honest. See, so, yeah, I, I, I. I, I saw some good passes in that. I just thought that maybe he needs to pass a bit more because there was some chances where he didn't get it on target. So he missed a few opportunities. Yeah. So what are we all voting on now to the heads of them stats? You stick them at me. I'm going to go for Harry. Harry. I'll go for um, Harry. So Harry wins that, I think. Harry is our player of the week. Player of the week. Player of the week. It's Harry. Player of the week. Give yourselves a round of applause, lads. Alright. Thank you. Alright. Chris Aldini up. Let's go. Back to Harry of the week. There was many highlights of the week this year. Um, this week, such as Maricourt, a famous win over Birkendale, River Juniors 3-0 win and Netherton's win. But my highlight of the week has to be when Anthony Turney took on two men, beat the goalkeeper and chipped it all over the defender on the line to put it into the top corner. That has to be my highlight of the week. My highlight of the week was when um, Lucas on my team um, he um, had a free kick and um, he is it and he, and he just chipped the wall and then, and then went in the, to the wrong corner. My highlights of the week were when Frankie ran down the wing, chipped the defender and, and flicked it up for the volley 
and smack the top corner. And the keeper had no chance of saving. Highlight of the week has got to be when Wisdom was running down the wing, took four men on, dribbled past them all, and the line shouted, chip it over the keeper. And what did he do? He chipped it right over the keeper and landed. Roll, roll down the net and landed right in the bottom corner. That's got to be my highlight. So, into what we're looking for next week. The fixtures are a good one for next week, with mainliners coming up against Quarry Green, which will seem to be a tough task for Quarry Green and maybe mainliners if Quarry Green can surprise them. River Juniors have got, I think it's Santos. Santos will be a tough one. And I hope that will be a good match. Probably will, with all, all the good players from both teams. Would you agree with me? I'd agree. In the first fixture, Quarry Green versus Mainliners. I think um, Quarry Green will give them a good um, Mainliners. Good, good workout um, on Sunday, but I think Mainliners will just have the edge over that. I'm predicting a 2 1 win for Mainliners. And going on to River versus Santos, I think it'll be a Tough game for River Juniors, the favourites to win the league this year. But um, I still think they'll come out on top. I'll go for another 2 1 win for River Juniors. Would you agree? Yeah, I, I think there's some good, accurate stats there. And what, what Will thinks, I think, is going to be true, and we'll find out on Sunday. Going into low, low down in the age. So with Sonny's team drawing last week, we're gonna we're gonna see who they're playing this week. Who are you playing, Sonny? I think we're playing um someone called Quarry Green. Going for another Quarry Green team. Again, they have a good team down in the lower ages, but with the star quality that Sonny's team River possesses, I think it'll be neat quite Quite an even game, but I think River might come out three one. Going on to Ryan's league, how do you think he'll end up, Ryan? So, um, on Sunday we um, we're going to be facing Crosby Stewart, and um, we um, won the league in the last time by um on pens, cause um, um the go the goalkeeper made a mistake. I think Nevers and Phoenix will take the win now. So do I, I would agree. Crosby Stewart won the league last season, but quite luckily on pens really. I think Nether and well, might might scrape a win out of the one nil for the that game. So I think I'd agree with that. Do you say? Think we might go for the two 0 Nether and Phoenix. Go with the highest scores. Who might score that? Uh, and Ryan and Harry. Ryan and seems to be in good form lately, I would agree. He's got five goals in his last six games, which is okay for a midfielder. So I think he might carry that form on. So two star players there and they're gonna be a key part in what might be Nevin's victory over Crosby, who won the league last year. So I think next week will be a bit more arguments on player of the week with Harry and Ryan maybe going to go pretty well in that match against Crosby. It'll be a tough match, but both people are competing for it really. Player of the week, it's going to be see how it gets the most goals and assists really. So it's going to be key in that decision. Yeah, stats are always key, but I reckon it's them two, and we'll see how. The River teams. I think um, there might be a few more. I think Sonny might be well in this game. I have a feeling. And if River can keep a clean sheet with the star goalie Callum Leaven, I think it'll be okay. He hasn't. He's only conceded one in his last four games, so I think he'll do okay, River. And he'll have a few candidates for Player of the Week. Same with Santos and Mainlines against Quarry Green. Quarry Green have got a good players, including Jake, James, Rashad. Seven, he's a good player. Yeah, and he, some shots have been really well on there. So that'll be good for player of the week next week. Thanks Ryan, Will and Sonny for joining me today in Game of the Week.
for game week eight of the season. Goodbye and thank you.